Hello children, we will continue the poem Abraham Lincoln's letter to his son's teacher. Okay, we have seen uh, 25 lines. So, after the 26th line we will start. Teach him to have faith in his own ideas. Even if everyone tells him they are wrong. Teach him to be gentle with gentle people and tough with the tough. So, here 26th line says that Abraham Lincoln is requesting his son's teacher to teach his son that to have the faith in his own ideas. So, whatever idea that he had that is his sons had if he got any idea then he would have faith also. So, it should be confidence on himself. Even others are telling whatever idea that he had it is wrong then also he should have confidence that whatever idea that he got it was correct. So, he should have that much faith on himself and also gentle to teach him, teach him to be gentle means if the other person is so gentle, so soft, not harsh then he had to behave in the gentle manner with that person and also tough with the tough it is like vice versa gentle with gentle tough with tough if the other person is so rash and tough so he need to be little rash like the other person that is about the uh, 26 to 30 lines so now we will start afterward 31st line try to give my son the strength not to follow the crowd when everyone is getting on the bandwagon Teach him to listen to all men, but teach him also to filter all he hears. So, here he says that here his son should learn to be strong on his idea, but at the same time he should not follow the crowd. It means that he should not follow the crowd. For example, he got one idea. So, he has to follow that method only. Though majority of the people is believing in one faith, but he is believing in one point, then he has to follow that idea itself, not to follow the crowd blindly. Okay, in that idea, to so many people are following, in that way, so many people are going, in that group, so many people have taken. So, why I why do not I also take that group, same group. So, it means that we should not follow the crowd blindly. He should have faith on himself. That is what we have seen in the 26th line also. Then and in the same way even when everyone is getting on bandwagon. So, what is this bandwagon? Bandwagon means fashionable activity. That is what they gave the meaning fashion. Okay, all are having the same fashion. So, why I also follow the same fashion? It should not be. He should have his own self respect. Whatever idea, whatever fashion, whatever the tradition that he has belief, so he, he, ha, he need to follow himself, his own idea, not the crowd. Like that, like how the teens will follow, no? Okay, that boy is also wearing such type of pants, I will also wear. So, it should not be like that. Whatever belief that he had, whatever own self respect he has, he has to follow his own ideas and teach him to listen all, to all men. But what, what he has to do? Has to filter all he hears, he has to listen to everyone. Whatever ideas that they give, he has to take. But after that, he has to filter it. And what he need to do on a screen of truth. So, which is truth? He has to find. After hearing to all men, so he has to filter. And at last, he has to take only the truth. But not the false. That is what he is telling. Then after that, and take only the good that comes through. So, from that whatever he could hear from everyone, he can hear after that he need to take only the truth. And teach him if you can how to laugh when he is sad. Very difficult, right? When he is sad, 
he need to laugh. He is expecting his teacher, son's teacher to teach his son that he should laugh when he is in sad mood. Is it possible? Try it. Okay. Then teach him there is no shame in tears. Teach him to scoff at cynics. Okay. So, while if he gets any emotions, sad moment, the cry, cry and all, so he should not feel shame of it. He can express his emotions. That is common, right? Everyone will be getting tears. So, he should not feel shame of that. If he gets tears, he can boldly express his tears. So, cynics here, next line, teach him to scoff at cynics. Cynics means some people will be criticizing. Oh, that boy is like this, like this. Some all negative points they will collect and they will be spreading, they will be talking about the things, bad thing. So, how he has to behave towards that people? So, he has to, he need to make fun of them. He should not care of them. Okay, he has to make fun of that people, cynics. Okay, he need to, he should not be serious towards such type of periods. Then, and to beware of too much sweetness. Some people, too much sweetness means some people will be uh, speaking always good things only. Oh, you are so beautiful, you are so good. Uh, you are the good person, you are the best people, best person in the world. Like that some unnecessarily sweetness they will be giving. So, we should not be fallen in that such type of sweetness. So, be aware of that. Criticisms will be there, but we need, we should not take so, such a thing. We should not feel bad about it. Instead of that, make fun. And also, we should not take and we should not be foolish towards the sweetness. Always do not expect the sweet words from the people. That is what he is telling. So, beware of too much sweetness. Then teach him to sell his brawn and brain to the highest bidders. So, here brawn and uh, highest bidders means what? So, he has to use his physical strength also and also ba brain, mental strength to the highest. But, but what? Never to put a price tag on his soul. So, in order to get money, or in order to do business or in his work, in, a, uh, in his job. So, he should not sell his own principles, okay, own thoughts for the price. So, he should never be uh, like selling his own soul. Yeah, for the uh, sake of money, he should not sell. For example, if they say, uh, if if they any enemy person, for example, take Pakistanis, if they ask you to work against your company, sorry, against India, our country, we will give you this much money. Will you do? No. We have our own principle. We have to respect our country. We love our country because every day we will be doing pledge, right? So, we should not be like that, but never to put a price tag on his soul and teach him to close his ears to a hollowing mob and to stand and fight. So, hollowing mob, mob means what? Some people say, uh, randomly some, some messages they will be giving. Okay, some all the things, some matters they will be speculating here and there. So, we should not hear to the such people. But on and to stand and fight if he thinks he is right. If he thinks he is right, he should have the courage to stand and fight for his right, for his success. He should not be silent, okay, that much. So, he should have that much courage to stand and fight whatever, th whatever he thinks that is correct. Treat him gently, but no, do not cuddle him. Okay, treat him gently. His boy, small boy, treat him little bit soft manner. Don't be that much harsh towards him, but not that much gentle also. But do not cuddle him because only the test of fire makes fine steel. Because we know how the fine. This is a proverb, right? You know that proverb. 
it's like this because only the test of fire makes fine steel in order to get the good steel what the people will do they will put the steel or even gold also put it in the furnace in order to remove all the dirty things unwanted things after that we will get the fine gold or even fine steel what is the test here fire putting in the furnace in the same way test also test means in our lives that is the difficult times where so we can have our best characters so you know, treat, treat him gently so that he can become so strong he need to have the courage to to be pay, sorry to be successful in his life and let him have the courage to be impatient let him have the patience to be brave see opposites patient in sorry impatient and patience let him have the courage to be impatient what is this to be impatient means here it should not he should have the courage to be impatient and patience to be brave so he should not delay his success he has to stand and fight for his success and also let him have the patience to be brave sometimes he needs to be brave okay when he is expecting something and it is not happening so he should have brave he should be brave to wait for his success and teach him always to have sublime faith in himself sublime faith means what super faith that is the topmost faith first thing is he has to be faithful to himself mean he should have faith on himself sorry in him because then he will have sublime faith in mankind then only he can believe others if he can't believe himself how can he believe others so first thing teach him always what is telling always to have sublime faith in himself then only he can have the faith in mankind entire mankind so this is a big order this is the big order that abraham lincoln has given to his son son's teacher but see what you can do okay i have given this many instruction to teach my son okay let me see whether how many instruction that you will teach or not he is such a fine little fellow my son okay he is fine little boy how much ever you can do do it okay that many instructions that abraham lincoln has given to his son's teacher okay this is the very small, uh, easiest poem but lengthy poem it seems little ling- lengthy poem but easy poem you can easily learn the question answers there is no need to memorize thank you